Hello and welcome to joesvlog.com. In this post I'm going to be giving you an update about Blood Kiss, which was the very first subject that I vlogged about on this site. If you haven't had a chance to view my Blood Kiss video yet, don't worry, here's a recap. Blood Kiss is an ambitious project which aims to produce both a feature film and a graphic novel, and to do so simultaneously. It's the brainchild of Emmy Award winning writer and producer Michael Reeves, who's worked on shows such as Star Trek The Next Generation and Batman The Animated Series, to name but a few. Michael is in the advanced stages of Parkinson's disease, however that hasn't stopped him working, and he was determined to get Blood Kiss made, so he and his team turned to Kickstarter for help. I'll tell you more about that later, but right now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the plot. Blood Kiss is a, is a film noir thriller set in 1940s Hollywood. And as we know with film noir, a sexy dame is always at the heart of the action. And Blood Kiss is no exception. As jazz singer Ruby Day engages a private detective for help. But the PI gets more than he bargains for when he uncovers a string of grisly murders. The part of Ruby Day will be played by the beautiful and talented Amber Benson, who is perhaps best known for her role as Tara McClay on the hit TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She is also the accomplished author of the Calliope Reaper Jones series and a producer and director in her own right. Starring opposite Amber and making his acting debut will be writer and producer Neil Gaiman, author of the Sandman series and numerous other books and graphic novels. He's appeared on TV and film many times over the years, but always as himself. So playing the role of eccentric film director Julian Cross is a challenge he's looking forward to. As if the prospect of the Blood Kiss feature film wasn't exciting enough, Michael has also retained the services of artist and comic book illustrator Tom Mandrake, to produce the Blood Kiss graphic novel. As I alluded to earlier though, to get this exciting and multi-layered project off the ground, Michael and his Blood Kiss team needed funding. So they turned to Kickstarter with the aim of raising $50,000 to begin production. However, thanks to, an ama thanks to the amazing generosity and enthusiasm of fans around the world, the team managed to raise $88,321 in just 30 days, meaning that Blood Kiss will not only go into production, but it's also headed to San Diego Comic Con 2013. That's right, if you're headed to San Diego Comic Con this year, you may have the chance to meet the Blood Kiss team, including its creator, Michael Reeves, its leading lady, Amber Benson, Producer Daniela Damasi, co-producer Lea Savoli, and its composer David Raitlane. They'll all be signing autographs and talking to fans at a, um, at a special signing session held on Friday the 19th of July between 4 and 5 p.m. at booth 3919 Geekscape. The Blood Kiss team are encouraging you to get there early if you are attending to help with the lines, and if you're into cosplay, encouraging you to dress up as a vampire or with a 1940s look. It, so, it, sounds, it sounds like so much fun, I really wish I could be there. But I'd like to congratulate the Blood Kiss team on a fantastic Kickstarter campaign and every success with the project. I'm really looking forward to seeing both the film and the graphic novel for myself. Oh, and I'm also told there may be a special guest attending the signing as well, so look, so look out for that. As um, as for me, I'd, as for me, I'd like to hear from you what your experiences are of conventions. If you've been to Comic Con or anything similar in the U.S. or around the world, why not get in touch by the usual methods, which are running along screen, and tell me about what your favourite part of the event was. Was it meeting a celebrity? Was it or was it cosplay? Or was it just or was it just chatting and talking to other fans who who are into the same things that you are? Get in touch and let me know. As ever, I'd really love you to have your say 
and I'm looking forward to reading all of your comments. Well, that's all for th that's all for this post on joesvlog.com. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.